Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Developer Minded SEO. In previous episode of Learn With Me Google Ads, I have discussed with you how Google Auction works and important terms you want to know in Google Ads. And in today's episode, I have going to discuss with you about what is how to use tracking template to track the conversion of your ad when you are particularly using third party resources. Most commonly, these topics are not discussed much in Google YouTube. So I would like to discuss this topic in detail and in very easily understandable manner. So before getting into this video, I'm Ish, search engine marketer. And do you want more videos about page speed optimization, technical SEO and Google ads? Then subscribe to this channel. Let's get into the video. before setting up this campaign URL option, first you have to link your analytic account to the Google Ads. So if you are using Google Analytic account to track, then you have to combine the Google Analytic account with your Google Ads or otherwise if you are using any other third party resources, then you have to combine them with Google Ads. So you have to combine it and then you have to set the tracking template. So whenever you are creating a new campaign, you come across the option campaign URL option. In this campaign URL option, you found three uh, tracking, three options. One is the tracking template, the final URL suffix and custom parameter. And in this video, we are going to X detail, see detail what are these options are and how we want to use these resources. There are also other options like parallel tracking and auto tagging. I'm saying this thing earlier because if you don't need to use tracking template, you can probably you can go for parallel tracking and auto tagging. And these are the things same resources do what the template tracking will do for you. But if you are using third party resources for measuring then you have to use tracking template. So tracking template, it is just a, a, it looks like just a query parameter in the URL, which pulls the data and gives you uh, about the conversion of the your ad, what type of keyword um, trigger your ad and what type of uh, what's your keyword match and campaign type and every information about your ad. So it starts with this phrase bracket and landing page URL. If you miss the landing page URL, that LP URL means, then the code will not work. So don't forget every tracking template will start with LP URL. So now let's see the tracking template format. As I said earlier, every tracking template starts with the phrase bracket and LP URL means the landing page URL, followed by the question mark and the name of the parameter. And here there are two types of parameter. One is value track parameter and another is custom track parameter. Value track parameter is the parameter set by the Google. You can use that parameter as it is. But if, if you want, you can use the custom parameter. In this, you are defining your own parameter and you are using it. So you can use whatever you, you can be depending upon your requirement. And this is the example of tracking template format uh, that is landing page URL. Here, the exact URL is assigned by the conversion assigned by Google and the question mark and match type is equal to match type. It is a value track parameter and this results in the type of match triggered the ad. So there are three types of ma uh, match type. One is broad match, phrase match and exact match. So if you use multiple value track parameter, then you should add the and symbol. 
So there are few, I have given a list of Google Ad Value Track parameter in the description link. If you can, you can get it. And these are some important predefined parameter uh, set by Google. Set by Google. This is the device means what device the user used when your ad is triggered. Uh, is the value is M means it's mobile device and T means it's for tablet and C means it's for computer that is desktop. And the network, it is where your Google ad is displayed. It's G triggers for Google search and S for search partner site and D for display network and U for smart shopping campaign and UTV for YouTube videos and UTS for YouTube search and VP for Google video partners. And the keyword, it is the exact match search query the user used which triggered your Google, Google ad. And the match type, as I said earlier, uh, E for exact match and P for phrase match and B for broad match. And creative, it is a unique ID for your ad. And these are more important parameters, value track parameters you can use in your tracking template. And the next thing, and this is the example. Uh, so the final URL is example.com and if you want to track the match type, which type of match type keyword it's triggered your search ad, then you have to use LP URL question mark match type is equal to the match type. It is the thing exact thing you want to write as it is in the predefined value track parameter value. And this is the thing you can use any anything instead of this match type. But this thing should be matched with the value track parameter value. And the final URL suffix. This means the final part. So match you, you don't need to use the curly brace here. So final URL suffix is match type is equal to match type. And the, so the landing page URL, it seems like this. The exact URL, the question mark, and your match type. So here the match type means here it, it may be B value or E value or P value. It's broad match, uh, exact match, and phrase match, whatever it may be. So and the next thing is custom parameter. It offers some advanced option where you can add your custom values. It's not like a predefined parameter under value track parameter. And the custom parameter has two parts. That is the name and its corresponding value. You can use your own name and the corresponding value. So you can easily understand which ad, which ad group was triggered this ad, which uh, campaign triggered it, and everything you can understand it easily. So every custom parameter starts with underscore. So it can be set at account, either at account level or at ad level or at ad group level or keyword level or site link level. But I want to tell you one thing. If you if you if you touch the ad level and you want to insert your custom parameter, then you again you want to submit your ad and wait for the approval, reviewal. So uh, you can, without touching the ad level, you can use it at account level or group, either account level or group of, group level. So here is the tracking information I want to track for my Google ad. So the device type, the network, the keyword creative and the matching type. So as I said earlier, the tracking template format is landing page URL in the curly brace and question mark, the device is equal device type and network equal network. And this is the format for tracking template.
So I'm copying my tracking template code and want to put it on my Google account. So this is my Google account and I am running a campaign uh, called travel bag and in I'm having one ad group duffel bag. So I want to set my tracking template in account level. So I'm going to settings and account settings and the tracking. So I'm pasting my tracking template code here, sorry. So on the final URL prefix. And I want to test it. So I'm having three ads. So all the landing pages are found and it is set and the tracking code is set. So you can save it and run the account. And for I want to tell you, if you use Google Analytics, then you can set parallel tracking. That means you don't need to provide tracking template information and automatically Google start to track your conversion through for Google Ads through parallel tracking. And it there is no need for redirecting your URL before actually landing to the actual landing page URL. So in parallel tracking, everything is done in the background. So, but if you are using other than Google Analytics, you have to check whether the whether that program is compatible with Google Ads parallel tracking. If it is not compatible, then you have to go with tracking template. So that's it. And that's it from today's video. And I hope you learned something useful from this video. And if you have any queries or any other topic to be discovered under Google Ads, then Please tell your comments in the comment section and follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you on another useful video. Until then, this is Ish.